Hello guys, Jay and I'm here with a new feature for my fast calf add-on. I added slice to the primitive mode. So let's open Blender 2.8, this is the latest version. The fast calf add-on is loaded and activated and I switch to primitive mode by clicking this button in the fast calf panel. Ok, now I press the P key to change the primitive to rectangle. But before I paint in the rectangles I press M and now you can see there is intersect and also slice available as boolean mode. I set the mode to slice and then I press Ctrl and left click to add new slices to the cube and I can move the shape by using the G key. As a result I get 4 new objects that I can for example move, scale, modify the topology or join them. I also changed the behavior of the bevel object feature so that it can apply settings that are set for one object to the other selected objects. In this example I add a bevel to the cube and set the width to 0.01. Then I select the sliced object, after that the cube again and then I can apply the same bevel for all selected objects. Ok, let me show you how to use the circle now for the slice. But first I go to difference mode and cut a hole into the cube so that we can use the slice to create a kind of pipe inside of the cube. Alright, this is the hole and then I draw again a circle but a bit larger this time and I switch to the slice mode. And the result is a kind of pipe for which you can also set a different material if you like because it's a separate object. I also scale it a bit down in Y direction and then I bevel the objects. Ok, the last feature that I would like to show is to delete the object after apply. I use the polyline primitive to create a shape and the bool mode is set to create so that a B mesh is created. And when I execute a boolean operation, like difference for example, I can play now with the settings apply immediately and delete on apply. In the first example both settings are disabled, then you will get a kind of live boolean with the object in wireframe mode and when I press apply boolean now the object is still available. Ok, now let's undo this and check delete after apply. And then the object will be deleted after pressing apply boolean. So you can decide whether you want to reuse the object for the next boolean operation or not. Ok, in the last example I enable both options and then the object is deleted and the bool operation is automatically applied after pressing difference. Ok guys, so far for the new features, the add-on is under heavy development as you know and at the moment I'm working on an extrude feature. This means when you added a primitive like this rectangle, then you can press for example the E key and extrude this shape to a kind of 3D object still in primitive mode to define how deep you for example cut into the object. If you like this add-on and my channel then don't forget to subscribe to be notified when new features are available and also add your ideas for new features or planned features to the comments below so that we can discuss. If you want to support me consider being my patron. Thanks for watching guys and I'll see you in the next one.